If you're an OT, PT, CHG, and you work with stiff hands or want to work with more hands, don't miss this technique I'm about to share with you. Hey there, it's Huang Chan. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist with CHG Secrets. Not only am I gonna show you in this clip the exact way to get great results with a stiff hand, get your patients coming back to you time and time again, I'm also gonna show you how you can work so you can protect your own hands for the longevity of your career. This example is an example of a distal radius um, ORIF that developed a stiff hand. Stay tuned until the end, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to grab the details of my exclusive manual therapy workshop where you can learn more techniques just like this one. If you look from the side, you see she's tight here, right? You can feel that she's tight here. You can feel composite while she's tight here. So one of the things that I was showing you is um, it's just how I do the joint distraction. So my thumbs are back here. So I have to have good control. I have to have good control of the metacarpal. Right? I have to have good control of the metacarpal. And then I have to have good control of um, the proximal phalanx. Now, it's just however you feel comfortable with your hand. So my hand has a certain finger length as compared to the hand that I'm working with. So I have to sit here and think and figure out what feels the most comfortable for me with the patient, right? Hello. 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 So I like to kind of hook my finger in here and then use my fingers here to then do a joint distraction and then I use this finger to pull P1 back and I use my thumb to push. So my thumb pushes the metacarpal forward and my index finger is pulling P1 and pulling it back, right? I leave you. So then my thumb here can hold and then I could use and I can massage here because this, oof, this is tight. So you can go in a downward direction, you can go in upward direction, which direction feels the best, right? That's how you can multiply what you're doing. Or you can just do that, right? You can hold it there. I can use my finger to hold that finger and then I can stretch this PIP. See how tight that is? Look where my thumb is, my left thumb. And look where my index finger is. So then I'm controlling with my thumb, the metacarpal, using this to control the base and using this thumb to control the distal end of P. You could do one at a time and just hold that there, or you can combine your moves. It's whatever you're able to get comfortable doing. Change my hand placement. So then I give this hand a little bit break and have this hand maybe work a little bit more. I can do the same thing. And in a way you want to learn how to use it in both hands. Oh yeah, Olivia. Que alivia. It's my favorite word now. <laughs> right? Yeah. So I can distract, pull back, aguanta, ale la otra. Right? And these fingers, they're so tight. You want to work with a stiff hand? This is the move. Hand therapy doesn't have to be hard for you or your patients. If you're an OT, PT, or a CHD, come join me for an exclusive manual therapy workshop. Hey there, it's Wong. I'm an OT, CHD. It's a two-day live event where I'll be covering the art and science of manual therapy techniques for the hand, the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder. We'll be covering anatomy, manual therapy techniques, and getting hands-on practice so you can apply your skills right away. Click the link to grab the details.